Hey there, guys, and welcome back to Planet Zoo. This is our Matley Zoo, and someone's about to die. <laughs> um, we've been having a few of those. Yep, there she goes. Oh, he goes. There he goes. Does that mean I need another male? I might need another male. I just needed to get another male. Nalia. Uh, so... Um, we have this little guy, but he's related to pretty much everybody. Yeah. So we're gonna need another... One of those. But I got this guy. This Nalia. Um, I went with the white one. His immunity gene sucked. Uh, but I was like, oh, he's kind of cool. And I hadn't actually ever seen one before. So I kind of got really excited and went for it. Not going to lie. <laughs> then I greet our guest. And then go get another arctic wolf. Okay, we're just going to wait, I guess, on that. We're going to get rid of this guy, though. I'm going to filter. Um, we'll pop back in in a little bit. Oh, I got another Nalia dying. And let's go check him out. Oh, that looks amazing. I like this guy. Okay. I'm cool with you, buddy. All right, so today we're going to be adding a new animal. Obviously, I'm just keeping up on some of the um, everything that's going on. Uh, they don't like when there's an offspring in there. So you're going to actually... Guadalupe, you're getting old. So you're going to leave. And Angel... Uh, I don't think that actually cares with these, does it? Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. So we'll leave those two in there. And we'll go quick train. Bye. See you, Guadalupe. So I did come in and fix a few things. I added some um, of the arches to like the transformers and the water treatment. Oh, I forgot the water treatment. Never mind. I lied about that one. I'll add that in probably later. But I got it on this one. And I added two more workshops over here. I had added three over this way but for some reason they weren't going over there and it wouldn't let me move the third one over so I just said screw it and got rid of it <laughs> that's how that went um anyway we also I got rid of a ton of these guys because they had ton of babies and I had like 20 of them in the zoo I think I can't grab one um, so now I only have, where are they? Gosh, I have so many of those. This many. <laughs> it's still a lot. Uh, yeah. Um, I have some of them that I'm going to get rid of when they age up. I have, like, a list of a few that I'm going to let go. Uh, but for right now, these are all of them. I kept, um, because it was pretty much two males mated with a couple females. None of the females were the same, so I kept the females from one group and the males from the other, and I got rid of everybody else, all the adults, and we'll get rid of everybody else as they grow. But yeah, that's kind of what happened there. <laughs> Um, my vet research is all complete at the moment because I, there's no more animals. Um, at some point I probably will start getting them into this, but I gave the guy a break, <laughs> uh, because he was doing a ton. Um, so he, uh, he got a little break for right now and then, and then he'll go back and do it once we get our new animals in. But that's the question of the day now, is what animal do we want to add into our zoo? So. Oh, yeah. Um, was this guy there? Um, I'll go with this one. This one's good. We could do a nice little, like, bison and pronghorn exhibit. 
that it could be kind of cool, like a big grassland exhibit. Um, I love camels. Tigers. We're probably going to wait for like the tigers and the lions until later on because they do cost a lot. Um, they look so close to the Nalias. Like, it's so weird. Anyway. Cheetah. Okay, that's kind of cute. Maybe we'll do one of these somewhere. Okay, so we went ahead and adopted some pronghorns and some bison. Um, I could only get some female bison right now. Uh, there were a couple males, but they were like 10,000 credits each. Uh, so <laughs> that wasn't happening. Uh, so I'll keep checking back for them. So I'm going to move them all to quarantine, I think, and then get started on their shelter. Shelter. Whatever. Exhibit. <laughs> Something like that.
let's add some coverage over here. I probably could end up cutting that off and putting something else in, but I'm going to leave it for right now. Um, North America grassland. Just because... Come here. One of you, come here. Okay. Just because it is very big, and I feel like I made it a little bigger than necessary, so I might chop it off, but I can't really get a path in there. I mean, I guess if I chop it off, I can, but... Anyway. That's okay. I'm not the best uh, landscaper, not gonna lie. Um, we're learning. Uh, where you go? There you are. Uh, animal trading. Come on. All right, who had the offspring? Uh -huh. Oh, you did, okay. Who did you mate with? There's so many people. Part. Whoa. Who are you with? Red, Red Renew. Oh, you just had babies. Had four, oh my lord. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to keep track of these guys to keep them from inbreeding. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. Talk about babies. Holy cow, guys. Like, bow chicka wow wow. Alright. Come here. Like, look at this. Oh my god. Holy cow, I can just get rid of the parents and have a whole zoo based on these. My lord. Holy moly. You had a baby. Who's your mate? Did you meet with him? Yes. Children. Nah. Okay. Oop, I got a thing. Breed a habitat species. Cool. I'm cool with that. Holy cow. Who'd you breed with? That one. You with... Okay. We have a million and one... Uh, p -fells now. Yep, sounds about right. Oh no, my baby. Why are you dying? Why can you not live forever? That would be nice. Oh, they don't like any of their enrichment right now. Okay. We're going to wait till the uh, inspector is gone, and then we'll probably wrap up this one. And of course, he just died, so I can't use him. Uh, a blood scent marker and a prey scented sack. Hey, come here, please. And I don't know where the blood scent marker is. Oh, poor baby. 
You're a good wolf. I will miss you. I, where did you guys put your blood sending thing? Oh, Jesus. You need like a beacon for everything you put down. Okay, anyway. Because we can't find that. Species. Arctic wolf. Toys. Uh, let's do a block of ice. We'll put it right next to the water so we remember. <laughs> and a chew toy. How's that for you guys? Do you need more? Oh, they're play fighting. Oh, they're play fighting. I have no idea where that is. Okay, well, you guys are going to have to live with it because I don't know where I put it. So, anyway. Alright. Okay, so the inspector came and went. We're going to look at that. Um, the tortoise got a four star. Education got four, but everything else got five, which is awesome. Um, during that time, I kind of went back and I went into this exhibit and I added some more, like, piles of rocks, like I did that one. Um, is this too much snow for you guys? A little bit, but um, it'll be okay, because it comes and goes, so it's not, like, dire need. They're at 75, so it's good. Um, I adjusted the terrains. As you can see, it's a little more hilly. Um, I would have done a little bit more, but, like, when you do it after things are in, it kind of covers things, and I didn't want to cover anything. So I kind of just let it... Um, go. I cut off this part. Um, we will probably add something else in here at some point. I will shift this so we can get a path through. But for now, I figured that was a good little like sectional because um, they did have way more space than they needed. They still have way more space than they need. Um, 8,000 over <laughs> 780. So they're pretty good. Um, the peafowls have bred like crazy again. Uh, they were popping out babies left and right, and I have, actually, let's do it like this, oops, no, um, any, I want to select all of them if I can, this is how we count, <laughs> I think I might get rid of the adults, and the babies, uh, when the males grow older, I have 29. <laughs> keep the males and, or keep the females, whichever has more. Why do you have low welfare? What's going on? Okay, you're stressed. Okay, you're fine. Um, when they get either the males or females, however many there is more of, I will get rid of and keep the... I, like add more in because I, <laughs> keeping them from inbreeding is going to be ridiculous once it gets to a certain point um, let's move this actually closer like that um, that might help a little so we're going to go get rid of all the adults right now and then I think that'll be it for today and then boop, and true Holy moly, okay. Holy year old, okay. Send. <laughs> this is insane. Okay. okay. I'm not too worried about the animals that say they're stressed because a lot of them are just shy. And when they get in front of like the window where people can see them, they get more stressed. And as soon as they run away, they're usually fine. So, if it pops up that it's stressed, I usually don't worry too much about it because of that fact. So, that's why I kind of just, like, brushed it off. Oh, my God. <laughs> um. I just let it kind of trade at the price it is because, like... 
people I know have over been over inflating. Um, I was watching a video and someone was talking about how he couldn't buy like anything because people were really over inflating prices. So I just let it go. Um, if I had something that was really good, maybe, but like I'm not gonna over inflate something like that because it's a p-vowel. Like me getting twelve credits is awesome. Like that's fine. I don't care. So we're going to release the regular looking ones and sell the white ones. Hum. Whoops, I always keep clicking the wrong thing. Okay. All right, so they're all gone. Um, then that, I think, is going to be it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and next time we'll add something in here. And... All right, well. Wait, I forgot what I was saying. Hello. Okay. I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, oh, jeez. I hope you have enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like or anything like anything like that. I hate saying that, but like, I know it encourages people, so uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, guys.